Hello, hello, hello. Just, just doing my usual tech test to see if my mic's coming through. And okay, we're good. All right, so I mentioned this at the end of the last stream about playing Dishonored. Dishonored is one of my favorite games ever. I I love this game so much, but the thing is, I have not actually been this game very much. So that's the plan. And also from the title, you might wonder why neutrals and quotation marks. Uh, the gist of it is, neutral in this game sense is there are three endings to this game. There's the good, bad, and neutral. Neutral is essentially... Good is you don't kill anyone. Bad is you kill everyone. And neutral is you only kill a couple people. <laughs> Corva, if only there was someone else I trusted to send, so that you could remain near. But there is no one else. And the spy master was right to insist that I send you. The plague has taken so many, and we must find a cure. When you are near, if my heart is at peace. Emily and I will count the days until you return. Hurry home, and bring good news. Steady hand. That's it. Watch it. Cast off line. Passing off. We're away. Take us straight to Dunwall Tower. Lord Corvo has news for the Empress, and we've come a long way. A long way to bring bad news. The sailors say there's a curse on us. Black magic. Superstition. For all we know, there's a cure for the plague by now. Maybe. We live in strange times. Sending the Empress's bodyguard away for a couple of months. That's unusual. Well, this was important. We need help with the rat plague. Tell me about your trip, please. Were there any whales? Wait! Let's play hide and seek first. I'll cover my eyes and you hide. Do you have time? Mother's busy talking to that nasty old spy master. Yeah. Okay, here we we'll, go. We'll we'll do this. This is uh actually got a fun this is Run the technically the stealth tutorial. I mean, it's optional, but this is uh, really easy to do, so why not? Ooh. Let's see if you're still good at this. I'll hide my eyes and count, and at the end of the countdown, I'll try and find you. Okay, I'm going to count to ten. Find a place to hide. Here. 
I don't actually think when you lean like this you can be seen. At least not on normal difficulty. Give me more climbing lessons. Someday I'm going to climb up to the rooftop. Did you see any monsters while traveling to the other aisles? My nanny says the big ocean's full of them. But I think she only says that to scare me. Welcome home, Lord Protector. Stop moving, Campbell. And you, Corvo, welcome back. Wherever you they sent him all around the aisles to beg for aid. A waste of time. My elixir will banish the plague from this city. Now keep still a moment, High Overseer Campbell. I am not so sure that painting looks like Campbell. Fun uh, detail they have in this. What are you doing? I need the bottle to draw the eye away from Campbell. I suppose I can paint him without the cider. Huh? Though in truth, he's always close to this stuff. An actual fun detail. Uh, this painting you can find later in the game. And it actually won't have the cider with it. It's a very fun detail. They're sick people, not criminals. We've gone beyond that question, your majesty. They're, They're my citizens, and we will save them from the plague if we can. All of them. Very well. We will not speak of this again. Mother, Corvo is back. Thank you, Emily. Leave us, please. As you wish, Your Majesty. Corvo. Two days early. Full of surprises, as usual. It's a fair wind that brings you home to me. Follow what news me, have you brought? You should... I hope that one of the other cities had dealt with this before, knew of some cure. This news is very bad. We're at the breaking point. Cowards. They're going to blockade us. They'll wait to see if the plague turns the city into a graveyard. Are you okay, Mother? You seem sad. Yes, don't worry, darling. Mother is fine. Wait, where are the guards? Who sent them away? Mother, look! What are they doing on the rooftop? What? Emily, come here! <laughs> been here no more not again mommy no get away from her to do, won't you? Corvo? Ward us all. Look at what he's done. Yes, he's killed the Empress. What did you do with young lady Emily, traitor? Her own bodyguard. Ironic. I'll see you beheaded for this, Corvo. Peg him. Final chance. 
Lance Corporal. Sign the confession and let me give you the rights to put your spirit at ease. That's enough for now. Get out. Let's give the man some time to think. Corvo, the Empress is dead. Her daughter Emily is hidden away, and no one will ever know the truth. Yes, unlucky you. Tomorrow you'll be executed, but it's for a good cause. This country needs strong leadership now, someone to guide the weak. And that's where we come in. There was nothing personal in this, even though you almost sank our plans. But it turned out well. At the right time, and someone has to take the fall. Goodbye, Corvo. God, take him back to his cell. You should eat, Corvo. This meal comes from a friend. I just realized I haven't talked in like, like five minutes. so many people are coming the Okay, but here's the core of the neutral thing. The gist of it will be Ideally I knock someone out non lethally. If it comes to killing them, I'll do it. That's the gist of it. <laughs> How this playthrough is going to be. If it comes down to killing, then I'll do it. But if I have the chance to do it non-lethally, I'll do it non-lethally. It's on account of Corvo. The one who killed the Empress and abducted her daughter, Emily. Uh, so it's an occasion. Right. A social event for the High and Mighty. Come see the noble Lord Protector get his head chopped off. As bad as us betting on the dog fights. Attention, the solitary wing is off limits to maintenance crews unless accompanied by an officer of the watch. Escort through the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance with one week's notice. Love the vibe this game gives off. Dystopian cyberpunk, not cyberpunk, steampunk. Whoa, very different, very different genres. Anyone there?
way there's something. I mean, I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, this is a better example of me trying to go neutral. Uh, it's gonna be like this. <laughs> Somewhere deeper inside the sewers. Grab the gear and find Samuel. That doesn't happen by accident. You think we had help? Who'd know how to do that? Bottle Street gang, maybe. Watch for booby traps. Peace. This is also another thing to keep in mind. Rats are very dangerous. I don't know what the rats are doing though. They're just kind of. Oh no! Oh, nope. There they go. Yeah, rats will kill you quick. But, and you can see that right there. They'll go to dead bodies first before living people.
And also, if there aren't enough rats, they won't attack you. Because they know they can't take you. You're... You're in too big of a group. This guy. This guy's probably useful. Oh shit! Oh, I'm not gonna get that back. That's. Oh, no. Yep. Okay. I lost it. Rats just need to realize the dead bodies are there. Probably should throw one closer. Are you kidding me? That's not enough? their deal. There's only like three of them. Okay, I'm good. Like, that's not how you're supposed to do that. You're supposed to use them. Goddamn rats. Incendiary bolts. Cool as hell folding sword. Come on. There we go. Uh, is 
far as I remember. Yeah, there it is. 451. Some extra cash. And if you're wondering why I'm collecting cash at all in this game, I mean, I, actually, no, it doesn't. Almost every game has like a kind of merchant thing, but there are merchants and then there are like upgrade slots. Knock something over if you can, bastard. Smells like a dead. Don't you owe me a drink? Hmm. <coughs> <Huh>? Shit. <laughs> you... God, they always do that. <laughs> playthrough. you'd come out here, I could still hardly believe it. I'll take you to meet them. Just down the river from here. Okay, uh... <laughs> okay, okay. So, you, chaos level is the important thing for doing this. Uh, and, as you can see, I got a low chaos rating. I only killed a couple people. <laughs> but I did kill people. And that's the core to this playthrough. <laughs> Closed for business, half the district marked off as dead from the plague. We're right under the Lord Regent's nose, and he don't know a thing. Of course, if anyone finds out what we're up to, the watch will break in with swords drawn. And now that you've escaped, the Lord Regent's going to be tearing the city apart. Take you up to meet Admiral Havelock and the rest of the warriors. The Admiral's a man to be reckoned with. If anyone can help you find that missing girl, Lady Emily, and clear your name, he can. Continue this later, Lord Pendleton. The man of the hour is here. Corvo, I'm Admiral Havelock, a true servant of the Empire, like you. Until the Lord Regent purged those of us who wouldn't recognize his claim on the throne. And I'm Lord Trevor Pendleton. I represent the nobility in our little group. 
but we all act as equals here at the Hound Pits pub. This is a momentous occasion, Corvo. I'm going to come out with you. We've been building a coalition of loyalists, aimed at ending the Lord Regent's tyranny and restoring the throne. At risk of execution, we're committed to finding young Lady Emily and seeing her crowned as Empress. We've got big plans, but we can't do any of it without you. We need your skills, your ability in a fight, and in helping us, we're going to help you destroy the men who murdered the Empress. Sorry, you must be exhausted. We can discuss this further after you've recovered. But before you retire, you should introduce yourself to Piero. He's challenging at times, but his industrious mind buys him that right. Yes. Piero's as much an artist as a technician. He's going to be crafting the gear you'll need. I'll be crafting your weapons and gear. All custom work. For you, I will create the tools of a master assassin. No! This cannot happen now the tank of whale oil's run out. Will you get a new tank from upstairs, please, while I hold this in place? Be careful. The oil's unstable. When it explodes, there is a terrible mess. I am going to steal all of his blinding stuff before I do that. Yeah, that's another thing with these. He just said it's very volatile. Uh, don't. I can. I should not throw these. Now plug it in. Just perfect. Thank you, Cole. Here, see? The assassin's mask. You're a wanted man, so everyone in the city knows your face. But this mask will be a terror to them. If you just. Hold still, the fit must be precise. There. Can you see normally? Some lens out of alignment. There. Better now? I could create more for you. Upgrades for your gear, weapons, munitions. Our situation here is desperate. Scavenge the city for valuables, and I will resell them on the black market. That should give us the money to craft the things you need. Tell me what I can make for you. Uh, I don't know if I can afford much. At least at the start. I do want to upgrade the sword, though. Because the sword... You must be exhausted. I advise that you get some sleep. Your life will get even more difficult soon. You should rest while you can. Very well. You know best. Let me know if you need anything more. Just get out of the way. There, there isn't too much to explore right now, but I just wanted to grab that little map behind him. But there'll become Attention, more stuff to explore the old port district has been very added soon. To the evacuation list. The Weaver yes, count very for the much month so. of no siege has increased. The, the Lord Regent Is there anything else I can steal? ordinances will remain in effect through the month of rain. Stay alert and stay loyal. If the Admiral trusts him, then so will I. You can kind of see, yeah, no on the sword. Look at that, it's very cool looking. Okay, sleep time. I'm sure nothing crazy will happen. <laughs> Sure, nothing's up. Yeah, no, all is normal. Hello, Corvo. Good 
Your life has taken a turn, has it not? The Empress is dead. Her precious daughter Emily is lost somewhere in the city, and you will play a pivotal role in the days to come. For this, I have chosen you and drawn you into the void. I am the outsider, and this is my mark. There are forces in the world and beyond the world, great forces that from magic, and now these forces will serve your will. Use this newfound power, my gift to you. Come find me. So part of the reason I'm doing this as a neutral playthrough just at all is because uh, there are quite a lot of these powers that uh, are lethal. And I want to show off some of them, so... You can also see right there with the the mana gauge, I guess you would call it. Is it... is it mana? I forget if it's called mana in this game. So it partially recharges, but if you want to use it back to back really quickly, then that's the main consequence, I guess you could say. These guys suck. Runes bearing my mark in the lonely places of your world, and at shrines raised in my name. These runes will grant you powers beyond those of other men. To help you find these runes, I give you this the heart of a living thing, molded by my hands. With this heart, you will hear many secrets, and it will guide you toward my runes, no matter how they may be hidden. Listen to the heart now, and find another room. This place is the end of all things. So yeah, you can upgrade you can upgrade your abilities with this. Uh I'm actually going to save this rune here so I can upgrade blank, because you can see, let me let me go further. And you can practically skip the first proper level of this game if you have blink. Upgraded high enough. So I'm just gonna. How you use what I have given you falls upon you, as it has to the others before you. Now I return you to your world, but know that I will be watching with great interest.
tattoos real, and also all this stuff is a pre-order bonus. Essentially, it's it you. They were DLC things that you got. Uh, if you bought the definitive edition or something, or if you had like DLC, but since this is the definitive edition, you just it's just all here. And I can upgrade my belt on how many bone charms I can have at uh, Pierre's. Let me just make sure my quick select is all good. Uh, yeah, no, put it like this, definitely. The heart I can just pop out whenever I, whenever I need it, which you can see right over there. Rune. Go get. I'm gonna go get that one, and then we'll go continue on, move to the first proper level. I forget. Is there? Is there a double jump? No. There is not a double jump, but I can't get a better jump, at least. Oh, hold on. I'm going to mute my mic while the dogs bark. Well, let's get down to it. First off, I know that assassination is dark business. But sometimes, good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide, act in shadow, take them apart, piece by piece. Okay, there we go. No part. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal, because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Another thing. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us. And if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. God damn it. He's a strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here at the house. What can I do for you? What can I do for you?
I had the zoom. It's just useful. Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. And I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. Okay, you're already assuming I'm gonna kill Campbell. I'm not gonna kill him. I'm gonna do something way worse. Ready to go. Just give the signal. It'll be a rough trip. It used to be to go straight up Clavering Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague, the other half's fighting over what's left. City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they set up those wall of light checkpoints. A man walks through one of those, and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. And there are the real odd birds living on the fringes, like that Granny Rags. They say she's nuts. She is. I don't know which is worse. Just take your pick. I might what was the last autosave? I might reload that that was shameful. Keep working. Gully ain't moving no more. <laughs> Attention, Dunwall citizens. This is a special announcement from our honorable Lord Regent. This is the Lord Regent speaking. It is with regret that I announce that my term as Lord Regent has been extended. Hey, what's up, Granny Rags? I think the little booties are sad today. Yeah, she's uh, she's magic. <laughs> Can I open this door without? Okay. Be careful, Corvo. They call her Granny Rags. You wouldn't recognize her real name or even the name of her family. But an emperor begged for her hand once, and rich young men fought each other for her favor. I watched her consider them all, measure their worth, and find them wanting. Then, she made a different choice. 
You're on your way to face the High Overseer, the leader of a great cult dedicated to loathing me. What will you do, I wonder? I know exactly what I'm gonna do. Okay. Upgraded blink. That should allow me to <laughs> horribly cheese. <laughs> Just a cold. Are you sure? Because you know we have to check you over. And there's an inspection fee. To the void with Bottle Street and to the... Come on! Let's get this guy! Hey! I could have sworn I heard something. <laughs> I owe you, brother. I won't ask about the mask. I wouldn't want my face seen either, pulling a stunt like that. You know what? I'll return the favor. Come by Griff's shop. That's my business. Well, it was, at one time. But now I'm reduced to scavenging things from here and there as the city dies. If you need anything, I wouldn't mind trading for a little money. Maybe someday the plague will blow over and everything will go back to normal. But until then, it's scavenging. Stop by a shop. How many sleeping nerds do I have? I have three. I need two for my plan. Griff, come on. Wanna look at some of the things I found? Good prices, I swear. Is the way but nope, this is the wrong way. Uh it is oh this one. That? I can I don't think I can reach that. Oh my god. Holy shit. I don't even know you can go over this. <laughs> One thing that's gonna mess me up is my phone's notification sound is uh, the same sound that those wall of lights make that they were talking about, or Samuel was talking about. Yeah, it instantly disintegrates anyone that touches it, so I need to uh, not. A rebrow tool. Don't care, 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 don't care. Go, go, go! Hello. I hear the 
second day is when the skin really starts to come all the way off. Is that true? Or is it... <laughs> What a sight. <sighs> Feels good to stand up straight. <sighs> Thank you, Corvo. What you're here to do tonight is of the highest importance. We've got to find Emily. So kill Campbell and make it quick. Once it's done, search his body for the journal. His notorious black book. And get out of there. Campbell is meeting with a guard named Kerna. And word from my informant is that Campbell is going to poison him. Maybe you can use that to your advantage. All right, I won't be of any help here, so I'll make my own way back to the Hound Pits. If I see Samuel the Boatman... I'll that guy's... That voice actor, he sounds familiar. But I can't place him. I was just reading in the archive about the heretics of Rand. It sounds so Have you ever seen the ritual? I've never seen the Heretic's brand used. No. It's a rare Yep, occurrence. there we go. Heretic's brand. So, if I do that, knock out the High Overseer, and then brand him, I can brand the leader of this religious order with a heretical mark. for an Overseer, or even the High Overseer himself, who violates our codes and must be cast out permanently. Remember the seven strictures, and you never need worry about such matters. I will, brother. What? Okay, fine, I'll just go through the normal way. Non-lethal. 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 <laughs> Spirits guide you, and may our enemy's head hit the floor without you taking a step. I was just reading in the archive about the heretic's brand. It sounds cool. Have you ever seen the ritual? I've never seen the heretic's brand used. No, it's a rare occurrence. But I did spy the face of one so branded. A former member of our order, of course. Out on a retreat, we passed through a fishing town and saw him begging. What were his crimes? Who can say? Damn you. The brand is reserved for an overseer. Or even the high overseer himself, who violates our codes and must be cast out permanently. Remember the seven strictures, and you never need worry Die. about such matters. I will, brother. City get any worse? Indeed, I believe so. Now, well, that's not ideal. <laughs> Probably. And don't forget, with all this killing, this is a neutral playthrough. Dumb, I'm a big dumb dumb, aren't I? I can just go there. But I need to clear out these guys. That dumpster is something I need to make use of. As odd as that sounds. So I need to deal with these guys first.
mean, so far, this is going pretty good. Uh, but quickly, I'm gonna be right back. Uh, I need to use the bathroom. And I <laughs> need to keep my focus up for uh, this, because it's gonna be a little bit difficult to do. So, uh, I'll, I'll be right back. <laughs> So even though I switched the glass, it was just insurance because I I need Kuro, Captain Kuro, to not die. Well, the servants must have been in here. Let me see. It seems I have the wrong one. Not that one. Don't don't don't, don't mind the little. Now you join. Men will come get you when you finish. I don't understand how this got so unpleasant. Oh, I agree, I agree. A whore dies and suddenly this. Will you have wine? It's a Tivian Red. Thank you. Now, to business. What would you say happened last night? I candle just so if someone does come in see it but I'm just gonna quickly go get Jeff to say his name is Jeff right it is it is Jeff okay
Boom. There we go. Now. I actually forget if you get a specific if you if you get a reward at all for saving Jeff from Callista, but you know what? A ration elixir from It's the nice thing to do. Something else in here, my controller's vibrating. Oh, it's because there's a rune right below me. Maybe I'll get it. Did you get caught in the lockdown last night? Six hours. Search the place. Talk to. And nothing Indeed, was Martin's but the will we hand out to free. break him out of cold. Of course we did. Find him. That's cool enough. Did I ever tell you? But why? One time, one of the second the floor shots. What the hell is happening with all of Mofers here, voices? I couldn't find a way down. By the time I was back, I spent the rest of the lockdown out on the The outsider was watching. Right, I see it up there. Oh, can I just boom? Easy blink. Yeah, th this is this is why I upgraded the blink. Again, just and just to remind you, this if you do the good playthrough, this is part of the good. Doing the good ending. This is this is the good guy thing. So now he's a heretic to his religious order. So You can find that painting of Campbell I mentioned earlier, uh, down in like his safe room. That only happens if you uh, uh, get rid of a poison, get, get rid of both glasses and spill both drinks. I should look at powers, is there one that just makes me quieter when I walk? And double jump in this game. It's just it's a weird button prompt for it. You hold you hold the jump button instead of just pressing it twice. Please, she's my sister. She's not a witch. I know her. Out of the way. 
expect preferential treatment just because you are her brother? She will burn. All witches must burn. You're gonna bleed, damn you! You appeared as if from nowhere. We would both be dead if not for you. We are forever in your debt. I cannot thank you enough. I must get my sister to safety. But first, I may know of a way to thank you. There's a safe in the bunkhouse. The combination is two, zero, three. Take what you want, and good luck. Thank you. And I know where the bunkhouse is, if my memory serves me right. It served me pretty well so far. There's the bunkhouse. There's a ruin right below me. Is there is there like a skylight that I can just Just feeling off. That's all. It's no use. I'm sick. I can taste blood. It's been days. You know what you have to do. Stop it. I'll give you my share of elixir. Nonsense. I don't want to bleed from the eyes and lose my mind. I don't want to spread the plague to anyone else. Don't fall prey to restless hands. I'm asking you to do this. Because you've known me for so long. Can you do it? Will you? Yes, my friend. I will. Before you weep. Before you bring down the rest of us. Thank you. Turn your back, my friend. Recite the seven scriptures. I will make it fast. Restrict the wandering eyes. That look hither and yonder for some flashing thing that easily catches. What brings calamity in the next? Which means it's probably in the room they just went to. not a lot. <laughs> if it's a bone charm, I'm not gonna go for it. Uh, yeah, no, it's just a bone charm. I feel like I killed a lot of people. I feel like I might get 
I, I might get at least medium chaos. Hey, Corvo. From the way I hear it, Campbell lived a pretty posh life. Maybe it's not my place to sit. Men of the faith shouldn't live like barons. Are you ready to go? Okay, let's go. Okay, let's see that ranking. Uh, oh, low chaos! Aha! I mean, I did a lot of good things to even out the wrong I did. I killed five people. I killed five people. That's not a lot. That's not a lot of people considering how much good I did. So it's all right. <laughs> And this the next mission, it's even easier. I expect I want to congratulate. The the only difficulty increase that it really has is that it mentioned like hiding in the shadows for stealth. The next level takes place during the day, so that makes it a little harder. He's alive. Thank you, Corvo. Thank you. My uncle's a good man. And one day he'll prove it. Here. I know you did this for the right reasons. But I want you to take this as a reward. It's an old heirloom one of my aunts gave me. <laughs> it's an old heirloom that I'm going to sell to the black market. If this is going to work, we have to take down the Lord Regent and all of his key allies. You did it. Somehow you took down the High Overseer Campbell against the odds. I knew you were our man, Corvo. With Campbell gone, we've hurt the Lord Regent immeasurably. And with Martin back, we'll have the finest strategist alive. The Lord Regent must be shitting himself in Dunwall Tower. Yes, and Campbell's journal, let's not forget. Our hope is that in these encoded pages, the location and condition of Emily Caldwin can be discovered. Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. We must act fast. No doubt the Lord Regent is holding Emily somewhere, waiting to reveal her. Step out as the hero and further cement his regency. If he doesn't bring the young lady forth soon, there will be infighting among the nobles as to who should succeed the Empress. Well, he's actually yes, a decent shot. Time is against us. But now you should take a well-earned rest, Corvo. We will decipher the contents of the High Overseer's journal and share them with later. Sailors tell tales of monsters far out to sea, but I'll tell you, there's strange things in this river no one talks about. Lights in the water, late at night. I've seen faces, too. Okay, what upgrades can we Mine, afford? There is some. Can I be of service to you? Yes. Okay. Uh. You see, I don't actually know if bolt capacity. If bolt capacity counts for special bolts as well. Like incendiaries and sleeps. Oh, I can also just straight up buy a rune from him. Oh, you know what? This next mission, pretty easy. Pretty easy. And I at least know a few slots. Do you mean to tell me you don't know how to curse me properly? Please, sir. I was never in service with the normal. But that's not an excuse. I'm gonna have another visit from the outsider, but I don't remember. Nope. No outsider visit. Good. It is.
is every citizen's duty to report treasonous speech and action. The state depends on you. Where the hell is he? Hello, Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something last night, moving through the storm drains beneath the building. Most likely a weeper, the poor bastard. There's no hope for them once the plague gets that far along. Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, if you ask me. I'd appreciate you investigating, just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Here's a key to the hatches. I'd send a servant down there, but they'd die of fear on the spot, I'm afraid. Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that route. I don't feel like it'll be morally reprehensible to kill weavers, because I'm pretty sure they're 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 zombies. So Hello. I was about to dump that in the water, but that seems <laughs> like a poor choice. Wait, but there's another one here. There it is. Okay. Uh, powers, powers, powers. Uh, wind blast is just funny. I'm getting wind blast. <laughs> Blast is one of the things I'm going to equip. In a lot of games, I there are things that I consider like panic button type things. Oh. Okay, thanks. Okay, final blank out. Dust there? The whole world is dusty. Okay. Okay. Corvo, I trust you remember Martin, an overseer before and perhaps again someday soon. I owe you thanks for my rescue. Indeed. You've given us a glimmer of hope, Corvo. Because we've gotten what we've wanted from Campbell's journey. You've done it. We know where Emily Caldwood is being held. The Golden Cat, of all places. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custis. Not only are they controlling Emily, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock. He's asked to brief you personally. I think it's best. Yes, I'll talk to you in a sec, Pendleton. Corvo, my friend. Do you need ammunition or weaponry? Would you like me to craft something for you?
No, I think I need to remember. Will Spring Rangers go off if I'm close to them? <laughs> Triggered by vibration. So as long as I'm very careful <laughs> that it shouldn't explode. Corvo. Corvo. I've asked to speak to you myself. You see, I'm sending you to kill my older brothers, Morgan and Custis. They're horrible men. It's true, as you may have heard. Cruel beyond words. Further, my brothers are close allies to the Lord Regent. And as long as they are in Parliament, we cannot gather the votes we'll need to stop the Lord Regent from further consolidating his power. These days, they're best known for exploiting their favor with him to cheat others out of their wealth. Let's just say that not every family evicted and quarantined for having the plague actually has the plague. Well, I warned my brothers in every way I could. I really did. But they never did listen to me. They'll be at the Golden Cat tonight at their usual revels. They'll be protected by the city watch. So it'll be dangerous. Oh, whoa, now, whoa. Please do it before I change my mind. Don't worry. Same as it is with Campbell, I'm not gonna kill your brothers. I'm going to do something potentially worse. I'll take you to the Golden Cat when you're ready. I've taken Lord Pendleton enough times, believe me. And also, because I didn't act interact with Granny, uh, Granny Rags, uh, the actual opportunity in this level is much I easier to accomplish. To the golden cat, Corvo. You'll have to go the rest of the way on your own. The entrance is near Holger Square. The main thing is to make sure that little girl, Emily, gets back all safe and sure. Them two Pendletons are there, so I'm guessing there'll be a lot of guards. Slackjaw might have some ideas on how to get inside the cat if he don't kill you. Yep, that's who. That's who we're going to see. We're going to go see Slackjaw. The old Dunwall whiskey factory. They sell the elixir that folks use to fight off the plague. I'll lay low, but keep an eye out for you and the little lady you bring him back. Good luck to you. I know Emily must mean a lot to you. Yeah. Also, a little thing to acknowledge, because um, you might have guessed by the way they interact. Uh, Corvo is Emily's dad. They never address it in this game. They address it in the second game, but... Any rooms? Any rooms? No rooms. Shouldn't have been pissing, dude. Yeah, that thing is one of the new big threats. It, uh, Attention yeah, it just shoots at you. It's, a, it's a giant cannon that shoots at you. Hey, you're just the man I was looking for. Slackjaw's wanting to talk to you. That him? Yeah. <laughs> easy, easy. You just need a bit. Ain't you heard? Slackjaw keeps the good stuff for himself. The rest of us get one part elixir, three parts water. Oh, uh, that's just to make the swallowing look smooth. Well, I ain't taking no chances on getting the play. Drink till you drop, that's my motto. Oh, come on, oh, I totally made that. Fine. I'll just 
do it this way. It's less fun, but do it this way because it's gonna annoy me. Feel a pulse. What the? Where's the heart picking up? It's probably picking up that. You know, I, I never go after bone charms, but I mean, I think I just picked up the key to get to it. as well. What's this one do? Very rarely, a potion gives you full mana. By that description, it doesn't sound that very useful. It doesn't sound very useful. It is weird how they just let me take anything. This game has no real rob or steal mechanic. So My men were right. You do look like a man out for murder. <coughs> Way I figure it, there ain't nobody worth killing round here except those two Pendletons over at the Golden Cat. I'm right, ain't I? See. Slack your nose. Them boys are twins. Rich, mean, and weird. Worse than most of their ilk. They've been laying low there a while. Not sure why. There's a lot of security at the Golden Cat tonight, though. Special guests and the like. But you're gonna walk in there, dress like that, and kill the Pendleton brothers? Maybe I got a better way to take care of them, too. If you're doing something for me first, understand. Someone. I don't know who is killing my men, taking my territory, stealing my goods. Might be a fellow name of Galvani. I sent my best man to investigate, but he went missing and... Well, now I need someone to find what happened to him. Go to this Galvani's place. He lives nearby off Clavering Boulevard. You do that for me and I'll get your better way into the Golden Cat. So, also just as a detail, uh, if I helped Granny Rags and I came here, I can still do all the Slackjaw stuff, but, like, these rooms will be locked up, filled with weepers, and all the men will be, like, extra sick. But, I mean, that's not ideal. Not ideal. Again, neutral. Okay, there's also another thing in this area. I don't know if you can see him from here. This alleyway is the most dangerous place. <laughs> what a mess, huh? This whole town's gone to trash. Oh, yeah, because of them! These are the guys from the beginning. We stalk this alleyway. A little shrine to the outsider. So who doesn't? clean. Okay, that, yeah, that's Giovanni's office, and I think the second floor isn't locked. 
the third floor is where his actual office is and where we need to go, but... If I can just get in for the second floor, it saves me a bunch of time. Why won't it let me... Okay, fine, I'll just blink. There's also an option in the second game to have no powers. I'm not going to do that one. Because powers are fun. I'm gonna check. I I know the top floor is locked. See him? Smell like a lot of blood, really. He's shy stuff. Not a big deal. Maybe you can go up later and check. There's a ruin up there. Some other two are gone. Ah. Uh, rafters, rafters, rafters. Uh. Can I fit underneath here? Yeah. There we go. I do not remember the code. Maybe wind or something. Suspects. Suspects? What? Suspects? We ain't gonna waste time solving who killed him. Personally, I'd buy who did it a drink. But what are you gonna put on your report? I'm gonna say we found one of Slackjaw's men inside, all dead and bloody, and that you are a stinking idiot. So if you do the grainy rags thing, there'll be a extreme. You can see part of the remnants there. There'll be like a horrifically disease infested rat, and you can uh, dump that straight into like Slackjaw's, the Slackjaw's uh, water supply. Just searching for numbers right now for the safe. Oh, gross. Maybe in the bathroom? Nope. sake. Cause I'm gonna explore here for like a minute or two, see if I can find the safe code. Uh, nope, there's a rat there. I, I don't want to risk him getting eaten.
Eh, you know what? It's fine. I'll just, I'll just leave it. Yeah, for fun. Why not? You know, I was talking about that low chaos thing. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I'm, I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna unplug it. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Neutral playthrough. Neutral playthrough. Oh my god, another one. Where'd you go? I I would go in there, but I'm pretty sure uh, Slackjaw wants me to go there for part of the quest, so I might as well go get the objective from him so I can... Hey, 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 wait a bit. What just occurred to me? How come it's always me who pays for the whiskey? for my missing guy. Let's have a listen. Black Chalk. It's me, Crowley. I'm making this in case I don't make it back. He was right. There is someone once you did. Once they take over the distillery and the whole Bottle Street gang. And you'll never believe who it is, neither. At first, I did. That's why it taken me so long. I wanted to be sure. And what's that? So Kral is dead. Too bad. He was one of my best men. Still, you and me had a deal, and Slackjaw never goes back on a deal. Take this key. It ain't for the golden cat, no. This key's for the captain's chair. A hotel abandoned since the plague gutted this part of town. Take the stairs to the top. You can use the roof to get into the golden cat brother. See that? Slackjaw keeps a bargain. Just as good as the men who run the city. Maybe a little better. You think about that. Now maybe we can help each other out again. I could get rid of the Pendletons for you. Quiet-like and without killing them. But you gotta do something for me in return. The cat's having a big reopening tonight. Lot of money clients. Including an arts dealer named of Bunting. He's got particular tastes, or so I've been told by some of the ladies. Got some pretty fancy stuff locked away at his place. And the only thing preventing me from nabbing all that loot is the combination to his safe. Of course, the Pendletons have been camped out there for months too, not sure why. So that means a lot of the City Watch and other soldier types. Bring me that combination, my masked friend. And then I take care of the Pendleton brothers, just like that. You ain't never even gonna touch them. And I promise, I won't kill them, and no one will ever see them again. Now, if that ain't a deal, Slackjaw don't know what is. Alright, so yeah, that's the deal. We gotta... 
We all find that art dealer. some of the things I've found. Good prices, I swear. Uh, you know what? I kind of want this. Attention Dunwall citizens. A mandatory <laughs> whale oil ration. Also, if you're don't worry, that was a weeper that I just alerted. This is this is the main reason why I like this game so much. There are so many ways. There are like cinematic Hitman style ways. There are simple just throw a grenade at them ways, but I, I just really appreciate this game. It's probably in terms of like most immersive sims, it's probably one of my all-time favorites and I haven't well I mean that's probably pretty easy because I haven't, I haven't played a lot of the famous ones I played Deus Ex I don't really like Deus Ex though not the not the original the the I've lost track of them again. Morgan's in the steam room downstairs tonight it's just safe in there because I've heard rumors if one of them gets hurt I'll lose my job oh that's just the girls talking it's nothing pressure builds up in the pipes and well, it almost never happens. I'll make sure they never mention it again. Anyhow, Morgan insisted to be in the steam room tonight. He's so... Custis is... Oh, the room is upstairs. Don't worry, we it's are nice going upstairs, but we gotta meet the... We gotta get to the art dealer first. It's funny what people will pay for. girl again. The one I told you about. You realize you're at the Golden Cat, right? Yeah, but she's different. She really likes me. <laughs> Idiot. She likes your money, not you. You're just jealous. Shut up. He says to bring food, I bring guns. The Pendleton's are here. You're supposed to be on duty. Come on. You're supposed to be on guard. You'll get dismissed for sure. I can't believe this. You said you weren't even drunk. Wake up. Like this for 20 minutes. Your foot. Oh, 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 that's good. I deserve that one. Shall I tell you why? The Pendletons are here, right? I'll start with them. I've cheated them, robbed them of thousands. Oh, you're ruthless. Don't hold back. I'll tell you everything. The Pendleton's inheritance was worth hundreds of thousands at least. I told them it was junk. Retribution! Retribution! Ah, that was perfect. But it's all I take for tonight. Call my servants. We're done. 
No, we're not. We're done, I said. Retribution. Now let me out. What the? Who is this? What do you want? The safe. Yes, of course. The combination is one, three, eight. Take anything you find. I think I felt my heart skip. Oh, God, don't see me. I'm just going to shut the door. It'll be fine. Who are you? Why are you wearing that mask? Corvo? Corvo, it's you! You're wearing a mask to sneak around, aren't you? They, they, they told me you were head chopped off in, in the prison, dead, like, like Mother. That seems like a long time ago. But you're not dead. I'm, it seems like a long time ago. It's been like, I think, like at least... <laughs> it's only been like a week. Special people, and I'll show you. And if anyone tries to stop us, you can fight them. It's this way. Prudence, the old hag. She caught me trying to get away. Now she has the key with her. We've got to find the key so we can leave. Okay, I'll be right back. I, 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 I don't like you. You're mean. You must have come by boat. I'll wait for you near the boat. I remember. Don't worry about me. There we go. Emily safe. Now I'm just gonna give the code to uh Come on. Come to dinner now. That's right, my sweet little birds. Come to Granny. Granny won't hurt you.
brought me the numbers. I've been after this combination for months. If you ever need steady work, you come see me. Slackjaw knows a good man when he sees one. It's only natural that you'd be curious about what I intend to do with the Pendletons. See, the Pendletons got these rock mines. Have hundreds of souls working down there half a mile deep below ground. So I'm gonna shave their heads and cut out their tongues and put them in one of their own stinking mines. Then they're gonna see life from a different angle. All right. And like he said, never had to touch him. Both of the brothers are gone. quickly see if I can still rob the art dealer. Even though I made the deal with Slackjaw. There we go. I can get it through here. So this is hard. Awful lousy way to make coin. Poor bastard. Stuff can't be worth nothing. Can they? Not a chance. I think I remember having seen this painting at my grandmother's place. She wasn't no duchess. Yeah, probably can't even sell it for junk. Not worth the time taking it off the walls. I might go upstairs. See if the mother two found something worth the trouble. Huh? You say that, but it's worth 300 coin. Come on, Stu. One more try. They wouldn't have such a strong door unless they kept some interesting things on its other side. I'm telling you, they have barge. Not even a bit. the guy who uh, killed the Empress. Okay. 
Now that's probably going to affect my chaos rating a little bit. Ready to go? Corvo, you must have worked wonders out there in the city tonight. I can't believe my old eyes. Alright, let's see. Yeah. Yeah. No civilians killed. That's another big thing. Oh my god, I missed so much of the money. <laughs> But I got all the Sokolov paintings. So I got a ton of cash. Cash money. So you did the business, did you, Corvo? I'm not one to speak against my betters when I get But if anybody ever deserved their fate, it was those Pendletons. What business are you talking about? Oh, I, uh... Grown-up business, girl. I mean, your ladyship. Forgive me. It's okay. I heard a lot of grown-up business at the Golden Cat. Oh. I should concentrate on piloting this boat. <laughs> Inappropriate. I'll be caring for you and schooling you while you're with us. Pleased to meet you. As am I. Would you like to see your room in the tower? Can I see it? Yes, you may. You'll get to see it all. The entirety of the hound pits. Good. I think I'll like it here. I'll go with Callista, Corvo. I'll see you later. You do not fail to impress. Armed with a blade, you changed the course of the city forever. And with the Pendleton twins gone, our own Lord Pendleton will assume their votes in Parliament. In one night, you've done more than most men do in a lifetime. I need to speak to you soon. But for now, Lord Pendleton requests your attention. conspiracy thanks you for your work I don't know if I can my own brothers we never believed that you killed the Empress it made much more sense that the royal spy master now the Lord Regent was behind it aided by some of his key allies we spent a lot of money and exposed ourselves to great risk in getting you out of prison but we did it because we believe that you're the one that can make the difference oh. hmm. and have locks looking for you Martin's devised our next move. There's a footnote in Campbell's journal that tells us the Lord Regent's mistress sat for a portrait with Sokolov, the painter, and royal physician. He'll be able to give us her name. Sokolov lives on Caldwind Bridge about half the time, out over the river. The catch is that I'm afraid you've got to head out right away while Sokolov is at his apartment on the bridge. Samuel can get you close to the bridge, but you'll have to find Sokolov. Bring him back here intact. And it'll enable us to make our next move. I can't believe what you've done so far. Escaping from Coldridge, taking down the High Overseer, recovering Emily. You make this old military man proud. That's it then. Ask me for any gear you need.
Okay, well, I think I'm just gonna straight up buy that rune. Uh... only afford one of those. I'm gonna upgrade with the pistol. gives uh, the pistol you use a cool design. Okay. Uh, hmm. Dark vision is very helpful. See living beings through walls. Summon a swarm of rats. That that one is uh very not neutral. Yeah, uh, you know what? I uh I'm actually gonna save my rune. But, uh, actually, I think for today, uh, I'm gonna end the stream here. We've, we've made a lot of progress. In terms of targets, we have Sokolov, uh, Lady Boyle, and then the High Overseer. So, we're, yeah, we're about halfway through the game. Definitely halfway through the game. There's definitely not some crazy twist that will happen, which means we'll have more targets, but... Nevertheless, uh, uh, hope you enjoyed the VOD, because uh, no one's here right now, and uh, yeah, have a good one, uh, have a, have a good morning, evening, or night, see you later.